I've opened up mymaps.google.com and if you've not created anything before, you will see a blank screen like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new map. So I'm going to click over here on create a new map. And you just click create. And it's an untitled map, so we can give it a name. Let's give it a name. Let's just call it Tiaraha. Click save. And then we can search for Tiaraha in here and we can zoom in. So we've got the controls down here, or we can just use our fingers on our scratch pad to zoom in, or we can use the plus sign down the bottom here. Um, and we're just going to orient ourselves. So I'm just zooming in and you can see you've got a map here with all these different uh, map pins on it. And that's a bit confusing. So what we can do first of all, is we want to untick, we want to close the actual map pin here. So it gets rid of that green map. Um, we're going to click on the base map and if we choose one of these you can just see which, which, which one you prefer click on this one here for example and you just get the street names which is probably more what we want and we can use these tools over here um, I'm going to first of all click on uh, add a marker and let's say for example I wanted to find out about Burgess Street I'm going to put a pin here and I'm going to call it Burgess Street and click Save. And you can do all kinds of things with this pin. So we can click on the color style here. You can choose your icon. So if I wanted to make Burgess Street green, I, um, and we can, add, we can add other content in there later on. But for the moment, we're just going to use that as, when, we, when I click on this, it will say Burgess Street. And so let's just do an, add another one, click on here, and let's come down to um, Coromico Street here, click on here. And I'm going to call that Coromico. And then click on edit again, choose green and choose the home. Done. Let's come down here. Let's go to, uh, let's just do one more in Church Street so you get the idea. Here, click on Church Street. Let's call it Church Street. Click save and then click style. I'm choosing green and use the house. Close that, close that. So now we've got three icons in our map here. Now, what we could also do, if we're going to make a walking tour, be what we might want to start in Burgess Street, come up to Coromico Street, turn right, come down Coromico Street to Lawrence and turn right again, and then turn left into Church Street. And we can keep on going and make a walking tour. And we can do that with um, this draw a line option here. And so what you can do is you can click and then click and then click wherever you want to make your turns, click and click and come to here. So let's just click to here. And there's our um, path done. So just, I'm gonna hit enter now and save that as um, a street name path, click save. And we can do some other things in here as well. We can click on edit here. We can click on the line width and make it wider so we can see it. I'm going to make mine purple. There it is. And can you also see here, it gives us the distance. So if we walked that, we would have walked, it, the length of our path is 518 meters. So it gives us the length. But sometimes, um, let's just zoom in a bit. Sometimes it's difficult to move the map around while you're drawing a map. Um, and I've made some mistakes here, so I want to edit it. So I'm, I want it to, I'm going to just click on this. I'm going to edit it and move the path and make it sit on the road the way I want it to sit. But you can see that there's these kind of halfway points here um, and you can move these around. So let's say I wanted to go up to Kotuku Street instead and come down Lawrence. I can now move this pin to over here and I can edit the path and I can move this pin to over here like this. And now I've edited my path if I wanted to and I can extend it. Let's just say for example, I wanted to um, extend my path all the way down into Whitaker Street. I can just drag this all the way over to Whitaker Street and you think, oh, that's a mess. So I can now just move this back up to here. I can put a turning point in here. And so between every node, it gets a new half point. So now I can come to here like this and edit my, my path. Um, and if we go into this and right click on it, we can see now that our pathway is now 905 meters. And so that's um, how we can add paths and um, uh, 
markers or map pins to our own Google map. And we can obviously now zoom into this. And if we wanted to, we could um, publish this. We can add content into here. We can add our own photographs. So let's just see if I can find a picture of Burgess Street, Teatahurst. Let's go to um, Google Images. Okay, so there's a picture from Burgess, no, I don't think it is Burgess Street, but let's just click on that picture. I can add that picture. I click on insert and I can now put that picture into my um, map pin and click save. And that's our map. And we can do other things with that as we wish to. But first of all, this is how you create content to add into a Google map.